This week's project is a lighthouse. This one is fashioned after the Cape Hatteras uh, lighthouse in uh, North Carolina. I took some liberties with it and uh, all the detail was black so I went ahead and, and added some blue here to make it a little bit more colorful. Here's a couple of other ones. These I made uh, oh, several years ago and they were um, a little more conceptual and kind of made them up and, and uh, didn't quite have the proportions correct. So I, I like this one a little bit better, it's more detailed. I'll show you how to make this. Before you start any project though, remember, it works safely. Make sure you read, understand, and follow all the instructions that come with your power equipment and tools. This is based on the uh, Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. And uh, I drew it out on, on a program called Draw Plus by a company called Serif. And it's one little program that I can draw, draw on and uh, I really like it. I shaded it in to look more like, like what the actual lighthouse looks like. My blank is a little bit less than uh, two inches in diameter. It's about uh, one inch and fifteen sixteenths. But that should be just fine. I may even have to turn it down just a little bit more. And it is about uh, ten and five eighths inches long. So ten so it's about 250 millimeters long and um, about 50 millimeters in diameter. Okay. So I only need about 9 inches. So I'm going to mark off 9 inches here and 0 be here. I'm going to leave this part for my chuck. That should be right about nine inches. Okay. And uh, here, so I have about uh, 12 millimeters left over here and about 25 millimeters there. I made extra drawings. This one I haven't uh, shaded. And I'm going to, I'm going to fold that down the middle and that will be that will help me lay out um, my diameters. Uh, after, now that I have it turned, I'm going to go ahead and, and I can mount that in my um, in my chuck. Okay, so I'm actually going to need a little bit more for the beacon on top, the blinking light. This is going to be the top of my light. This is going to be the top of my rail. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. This is the, the top of the, the deck, the observation deck. This is where this little uh, molding is going to be. This is going to be the tech, top of that little house there. And this will be the top of the step. those off. <laughs> I have my badan handy, so I'm going to go ahead and use my badan. I'm going to move up to about 850. Set for 45 millimeters, and that's uh, that's about right. Let me go ahead and change out my chuck. Okay. So my spindle is just a little bit less than two inches in diameter, and my drawing is for two inches. 
So I'm going to have to adjust slightly. I've taken a copy of my uh, diagram and I went ahead and measured out the diameters at different places along the way. And I'll keep this behind my lathe as a guide. The section here is the actual light and it is about one inch in diameter and on the inside of that just slightly less. So I'm going to start by uh, thinning this down to one inch. Set my calipers to one inch. The dams are kind of funny because some people use them like this, some people use them like this. And I think the proper method is like this. So there's my light. Now, I'm go I can go ahead and start uh, making the little uh, roof on it. And I'm going to start by reducing the di this diameter here. So the roof on my light is going to just barely overhang the light portion, the, the lens portion. Okay, lost a little bit of my video there, but I went ahead and re this is the light or the lens portion. And this is the uh, stanchion that holds it up. This is actually the the, the railing that's going to be right in here. And I need to extend these two marks. These two marks are where the, um, the main shaft of the uh, lighthouse will taper. Now what I want to do is make the railing and then actually want to hollow it out slightly from on top. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet, <laughs> but uh, I hope to leave that for near the end also. Because it's, it's, ver it's very long, so it, it may vibrate quite a bit. Okay. I think that helped me... Uh, see the proportions, I'm going to take this down to, to an inch and an eighth. This is going to be the little molding and then the rest. So the outside diameter of this portion needs to be one and three quarters. So the railing is only going to be this little portion here. Going to be slightly smaller than this. Okay. This is going to be. I'm going to go 
ahead and uh, take this. That's going to be that molding, and, and uh, this needs to taper down to it. get in here with my thin parting tool and kind of give this a little definition. Okay. And this needs to be rounded over on, on both sides. Eventually I need to hollow out that right behind the rail. And maybe I can just get into it with my thin skew and a small tool rest. So what I want to do is hollow down the inside of that railing. Maybe I can make a tool to get in there a little bit further. But I can get into I think I can get in there with my thin parting tool. Too bad. and we'll work on the, the main sh shaft. Now I'm going to work on this part here. This part here should be about one and uh, a little bit less than one and three quarters. So it should be down around 48 millimeters or so. And I'm going to go ahead and use my parting tool and measure down. Don't have to re don't have to remove very much. So now I'm going to taper this part. Yeah, 
Let me, let me just try my skew. Try my roughing gouge. Roughing gouge is a lot better. Now, what we need to do now is uh, get in here and adjust my tool rest to about the same angle that I'm looking for, and that will help me get better. So what I'm doing with the skew chisels is just do some plane off, just a root, and screw it up. I sand it, that should finish it up pretty good. Okay, the next part is this small housing part here, and it's going to have an edge and a tapered. So I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, I'm go ahead and use my bedan again, and I want to actually make this a little bit thicker, and also make it taper. So a little chamfer on. This portion here should also have a bit of a chamfer to it. Okay, and that will be the end of the base of the, uh, the lighthouse. What I need to do is go ahead and finish up this part here before I start sanding and before I part it off. So for this part here I want to form the, the light on the top and also finish off this roof. Now this is a very long shaft so I might get some vibration in it. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of the little dimple in the end. Next, according to the illustration, that light is actually uh, long with a dome top on it.
and the roof on on the right house is a much lower pitch than what I have. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding that down, and we'll see what it looks like. I'll do that off, off camera. So here's my sanded lighthouse. The only thing I'm going to do to it now is, um, not totally part it off, but I'm going to cut this deeper. And while I still have that stem on there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a coat of white spray paint. That's the end of the first video on turning the uh, lighthouse. And the second video will show you about painting and detailing.